All right, we're going to do the Immersion Brewing Company. They're from Bend, Oregon. This is the Ring the Alarm India Red Ale. Uh, this consists of 6.8 alcohol, 49 IBUs. Uh, this should be pretty decent, I guess. Uh, the can. Centennial, Columbus, Trident, and Cascade. All right, we got a lot of uh, traditional stuff in there. Good. I haven't seen Columbus for a while. Nice. The can's pretty cool. Terra like Munich, some special, Caramel 30, Caramel 60, and a little bit of black malt. Yeah. Nice. Red IPA. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's got that rustic color to it. Yeah. Little, uh, oof, little pineage. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. Caramely red, amber color. You know Light what? red. Yeah, you know what I'm glad about this? It doesn't smell like a fucking tropical forest. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, it's hoppier than fuck. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 49 yeah. IBUs. You kidding me? 490. <laughs> Orange tint to that. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Mm. Yikes, yeah. Very, very hot. Yeah. Got a little bit of a skunky cascade, kind of. I like the Columbus, though. Yeah. But still floral. 49 IBU. There just must not be very much malt in the grain bill because it's it tastes hoppier than hell yeah but it's smooth in a way you know what i mean it's the tastes hot, alcoholic yeah. oh uh, yeah but the flow is popped up red yeah balanced citrus and pine hop profile yeah definitely very <clears throat> prevalent nose god and then the flavor and then mm -hmm. I, a lot of perceptible bitterness for 49 big yeah. time and then that booze shows through hard mm -hmm. especially at the end yeah yeah this feels like it'd be like an eight point something <laughs> but it's only 6.8 not as caramely as i thought it was going to be no you it's know, kind of for a reddish or that. almost amber you know kind of thing I'd, Especially since they had Caramel 30 and Caramel 60 in there. And I'm mm -hmm. like, all right, cool. Yeah. You know? And some Kara Munich and everything. And it just, uh, not as caramely as I thought it would be. Yeah. I thought it would be a little more malty. It'd be nice if it were caramely and malty and maybe just a tinge of that malty sweetness to kind of mm -hmm. offset those hops a little bit. And the fucking booze. Right. I can't believe how much it shows through. It'd be good with a fucking, like caramelized onion peppered patty melt or something mm -hmm. yeah absolutely like texas toast situation yeah. you know and grill that up and mm -hmm. put your open face or an open face like brisket sandwich or something with the mashed potatoes yeah. underneath and it'd go good with like a philly cheese too yeah all that kind of stuff yeah, exactly yeah. dude yeah. yeah be awesome yeah yeah some garlic fries yeah oh, yeah for sure great with fries. meat and like Cajun tots. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Even some Cajun shrimp tacos or something. Some Creole, you know. Mm, yeah. Soup oh, yeah. or a gumbo or something, maybe. Nice little kind of spicy chicken. Uh, not like hot wings or anything, but. Buffalo chicken Caesar or something. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, me too. It's just, yeah, I wouldn't. Is best with something. Meat, yeah, I, I so. agree. I agree. I think it'd be better with food than just drinking a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah. Awesome hop profile and flavor. Yeah, oh yeah. Small Brewery of the Year, Oregon Beer Award. That's cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.